Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler. This time we're going to look at something that is the beginning actually of a series, a series of episodes here, but it's going to focus on something that is home video related, but not actually a home video release itself. They're a little bit weird, but because they're weird, I've wanted to really show these for a while and finally got my hands on them so we can show people what they are and what they are not and how they relate to home video. They also will be able to be mentioned in the book, which is something else I was excited to be able to do. You may recall that in 2004, one of the biggest DVD releases of its era was this, right? The original trilogy finally showing up on DVD for the very first time. This is that four disc set. So we had the bonus disc with Empire of Dreams and the extra bonus features and whatnot. Um, but this was the next iteration of the films after the 1997 special editions, what I think of as the more special editions, because there was more tinkering between 97 and 2004. Uh, it was making the masters for this that were scanned in 1080, so HD, that actually allowed for the Blu-rays a little while later with even more tinkering. Well, around this time, Hasbro did this kind of weird thing where they got all excited about a new release, which is understandable, of course, uh, and as part of all the promotion for a new release, they actually released special action figure sets. They were always labeled as commemorative for that home video release, but a lot of times people get confused on whether or not they actually included home video items in them themselves, or how many are there, what are there, what did they go with, what's the deal with these action figure packs? I almost slipped into a sign to the, what's the deal with these action figure packs, right? Um, so that's what we're gonna look at in this next series of episodes. I finally managed to get my hands on all of them going all the way from 2004 all the way up to 2012 with some stuff that's sort of a lingering reference back to the 2011 Blu-ray releases. We're going to look at all of them in a series of episodes here, and this time we're looking at the ones from 2004 that were released to celebrate this set finally hitting shelves. There were three this time, each of which included three different action figures. This is the first. They'll all be very similar. It says Commemorative Trilogy DVD Collection. Okay. If you're warning over here saying uh, choking hazard small parts, not for children under three years. I have your product number there and ages four plus. So wait, not for children under three years. If you're like one or two, ages four plus. So if you are three, all bets are off, apparently. Star Wars Trilogy down here. Notice the Vader there, very much like one side of the packaging. Tells us who's in here. Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, and R2-D2, right? Thought of as a three-pack, but... Oftentimes, the droids are included together as if they are one. So, four-pack, three-pack, whatever you want to call this, but generally marketed as if it was a three-pack, even though it's really four. Rebel symbol up there. The side there has the three films listed, very much like the side of the DVD packaging there. The other side is just blank black. The top lets us see inside, but otherwise, nothing special. The bottom is going to have your UPC, your information about visit the Star Wars website. And uh, for the latest on Star Wars information for Hasbro, it's just the two web addresses and all, um, then it has uh, the join the official fan club, starwars.com slash fan club. Okay, all that kind of stuff here. So the back, Star Wars A New Hope, it does specify which film this is coming from, even though the front of the packaging does not, but the characters should have made it obvious. Empire and Jedi's versions down here where it says... Uh, collect all these Star Wars Original Trilogy Collection figures, then the ones that are in it. Legalese down here, not suitable for children under three years because of small parts, choking hazard, images and stuff to go with that. Hasbro, go you will to StarWars.Hasbro.com for insider news and chances to win cool prizes, which we saw recently with some of those lightsabers, I'm sure. But then you have kind of an opening crawl here that tells you what the deal is with these. Celebrate the legendary Star Wars trilogy that changed the universe forever with the original trilogy collection. This collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captured our imagination and took us to a galaxy far, far away. The finest recreations of iconic Star Wars heroes and villains are back with incredible detail and premium features to commemorate each epic tale in the classic trilogy, A New Hope, The Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. As a tribute to the dedication of Star Wars fans everywhere, we are re-releasing elements of the original packaging that harken back to the creation of Star Wars action figures, which began over 25 years ago with the classic trilogy. Yeah, and you notice behind them is Star Wars here. Now, what I find kind of coolest about this, just in terms of what you should have noticed on the shelf so there wasn't confusion, but it's hard to see when you see a product listing that's kind of taken from somewhere like back here. This tells you what's in it. It mentions nothing about a home video release or anything of any kind included. So, okay, whatever. 
But notice, teeny tiny, relatively speaking, DVD not included. Okay, this is not like this, you know, DVD is not a toy kind of thing that we saw with the lights everyone. That's incredibly important. As this size, you could expect perhaps a DVD tucked in behind these. There is not. Just the three figures, well, four figures in this case, to commemorate the DVD release, but not actually a DVD inside. I would also note here, I mentioned the Star Wars behind it. It's hard to see. Beneath the Star Wars, it does give the name of the film. But again, it's tough to see because, of course, you're trying to look through all the different plastic and whatnot, holding them in place and protecting them. So you had one for A New Hope. Then we had one for The Empire Strikes Back. Same stuff, same setup in this case. Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Chewbacca. Right? The setup effectively identical, just shifting around which characters are featured because of which ones happen to be in this particular package. Again, DVD not included. And for those who are looking for one for Return of the Jedi, those were all heroes. This one goes straight up villains. Return of the Jedi gives us Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, and a Stormtrooper. I say that the look of Palpatine there looks much more to me like his prequel incarnation in Revenge of the Sith but maybe it's just because the hood is so far up over his head. <laughs> Actually, it, to be honest, it's not even really something that looks quite like the Revenge of the Sith version. It looks a lot more like the robot chicken version, right? Go for Papa Palpatine. It's kind of the Palpatine you got there, okay? But again, similar packaging to go with it. Only in this case, notice Imperial symbol because these are the baddies. So the key here, these were not bonus items that were given free with any kind of home video release. Instead, this was Hasbro capitalizing on that release, celebrating it along with other products from other companies, all kind of in a blitz, to all make a note of and highlight this home video release in 2004. There are no home video items with them. They commemorate the home video items. So for some collectors, these are a must grab for your collection. For others, not so much. Depends on exactly how you define home video for your collection. For me, they're a little bit tangential, but I want to be able to show them here and in the book, so now they're in my collection. As are the others, which we will see going forward into our next episode as we check out the ones for Revenge of the Sith. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers and the figure collectors.